This is a free call from Jacob Chansley. An incarcerated individual. Dude, this is f cool. This is like a rap video, dude. <laughs> Glad to see you guys. You guys are f***ing patriots. Look at this guy. He's got covered in blood. God bless you. I got shot in the face. I'm not one to usually take pictures of myself, but in this case, I think I'm making exceptions. Isn't he literally like a wannabe model slash actor? What do you mean you're not one to take photos of yourself, bro? You, dog, you got, you got good. You got like, you know, 12% body fat. Flaunt it, mother****. And you are. <laughs> Jacob Chansley, the self-proclaimed QAnon shaman, has just been sentenced to 41 months in prison for his role in the January 6th Capitol riots. He was seen entering the Senate chamber with a spear. First of all, this is why you never wear armor outside of your class. He clearly specced uh, as a bard, okay? He's a bard, but he's dressed up like a barbarian. Clearly, he has Capitol no strength has skills, killed. okay? He needs the respect. Absolutely needs a respect immediately, dude. He's wearing armor that isn't, that's like outside of his fing uh, weight class. Hey, man, how's it going? My official All right, cool. Are we Wish good? Yeah, we're good. How you doing, man? I'm doing okay, brother. I'm doing okay, you know. Uh, How would you describe the conditions of the jail that you're in right now? Well, the conditions in Alexandria are in the detention center are not as bad as they were in, say, the D.C. jail. I've never experienced, like, real racism and prejudice in my life until I went to the D.C. jail. There was a, a, a black woman from Nigeria that was, like, their nurse or their doctor that was examining me while I was... Oh, my God. Is he going to say there was anti-white racism in the D.C. prison? Oh, Oh, wow. The QAnon Shaman and Twitch have the exact same point of view. That's special. That's a really, that's a really special thing that we have arrived at. When I told her that I was not racist, that I was not white supremacist whatsoever, that I've actually, you know, dated all sorts of women of all sorts of races, <laughs> I've had all sorts of friends of all sorts of races, and I said, I, I even, you know, I've even dated several black women. She said, I can't believe a black woman would ever date you. And I was like, oh my, I was like, oh my God, you know, like this woman. This woman is racist. <laughs> Yo, this is content, dude. Oh, fucking bless, bless Andrew, dude. Incredible. It's like being openly racist, you know, because if the roles were reversed and she was. Yo, this is literally Twitch, dude. Twitch.tv's official statement on the C word and the QAnon shaman are literally fucking it's like this i love that oh that's so good standing in the doorway while a white nurse told a black guy i can't believe a white woman would ever date you she would be appalled you know she doesn't know what my ethnic background is she doesn't know i got native american blood in me she doesn't know you know you know what i'm saying she has no idea oh <laughs> white people bingo native american blood in me oh this is so She's good judging me. for sure have you been able to make any friends in there Oh, no, dude. I, no offense to anybody in here, but, you know, jail is not the place to make friends. <laughs> I just figure, like, you might want to play card games or, like, you know, spitball and figure out some way to pass the time. Thank oh, you dude, I can't get it. No, 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 that's the thing. I can't, I can't play card games with anybody because I'm in the cell 22 hours a day. And then when I come out of my cell, I'm the only one out of my cell. So you got sentenced to 41 months. How do you feel about that sentence? I don't think it's fair. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you mean. <laughs> They th I think that they thought an example had to be made, and I don't think they anticipated that example being a double-edged sword. That is really fucked up, for the record. God damn, dude. American prisons are so fucking brutal and so incredibly fucked that, like, homies just in 22-hour, like, solitary confinement for months on end. That's torture, by the way. There's a reason why Norway refuses to extradite prisoners to the United States of America because they declare it like inhumane and, and unlawful to extradite prisoners to America because of the conditions here. It's fucking awful. That's worse than the UK prison, by the way. Yeah, no shit. And he is most likely, I don't know what the prison he's in, but it's probably better considering he can do a fucking 44 minute collect call. That's probably a little bit better than most other fucking prisons and the most of the conditions in other prisons too. So like, it, it's even worse than that. There was a guy that threatened to shoot Pelosi in the head and he had he brought two guns and a bunch of ammo and he got 28 months. I never threatened to hurt anybody. I never vandalized any property. I never hurt anybody. I didn't assault anybody. I didn't steal anything. WTF, mate. <laughs> right. So why do you think they picked you to make an example out of? 
because uh, I think that I became a symbol, not just so much of January 6th, but because I became a symbol for freedom, a face for freedom of sorts. What? And, uh, you know, I, I stood out the most, to say the least. And I think I... Bro, this dude is not learning a lesson in there, okay? Not that any fucking prison in, in, in the American prison industrial complex ever actually is slanted towards teaching people and educating them and, you know, rehabilitation. But, like, he's extra not learning anything, okay? He's like, you know, there was anti-white racism happening to me in D.C. Also, I'm a symbol of freedom. <laughs> like, just focus on the high notes, homie. Like, for example, the fact that, like, another dude who actually had a fucking gun getting, you know, half your sentence, that's crazy, okay? That is crazy. We put people in prison for... What's the reason? Let's think about this for a second. We put people in prison because, like, we think that they are a threat hustle, to hustle, others hustle, hustle, if they're hustle, out hustle. and about, right? Obviously, I'm not talking about the actual reasons, chat. Stop saying poor or because people are environmental activists or because they're fucking, you know, uh, they got weed on them. Like, I'm not talking about the real reason. I'm talking That's about, in theory, place. the concept of prison is because, you know, these people are a threat to society. That, like, if they are walking out and about, that they're, like, actually going to, you know, continue this behavior that is antisocial, uh, continue in this behavior that, like, uh, harms a, a society from functioning appropriately, right? In theory, that's the reason why there is a, there's one of the reasons why there is such a, pr there is a concept as, as prisons, right? You deny them their freedoms. The other reason is also punishment, obviously. On the punishment side, it's totally understandable that this w dude would go to jail, Okay for a certain period of time his conditions should be infinitely better as is as are the conditions for every other prisoner in uh, in the united states of america it's fucking ridiculous that like the way we just absolutely fucking destroy people that that uh go to prison but like who's this guy gonna hurt if he's out of prison like if he went for if he went to jail for like 10 months who's he gonna hurt when he came out do you feel more safe knowing that this man is in in jail and i don't mean like safe because you think like other people are going to be deterred from behaving in this sort of action like well, what do you think this fucking idiot is going to do you will change your mind about him being a danger in about 20 minutes okay maybe psychic he would hurt less living creatures than you non-vegans oh my god get this guy out of prison and put every vegan in my chat in prison okay right when did you first get introduced to shamanic practice so I officially started and deliberately started my shamanic path on November 2nd, 2012, when I got my first tattoos, and those were on my feet. <laughs> and uh, now I have a- Bro, every part of this story is like, just straight up like, from saying he, he's got like native, uh, uh, you know, late native lineage that he found out later in life, all the way to like, I got tattoos and decided I was a shaman, like, this is just like a dumb today, uh, white bro, okay? It's just like dumb jock things Greg. so far. I hope or, we uh, I hope we arrive at like what the fucking turning point was. Like what was the the thing that fucking broke his brain? But was there a, a particular moment like maybe in your youth where you were like, oh, this is something that I think is super cool and like I want to learn more about? Kind of. I just like whenever I saw the, the native dudes with the, with the big head, feather headdresses, you know, um, when I heard about peyote and hallucinogen. Have you ever experimented with peyote or anything like that before? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. All shamans use these tools as a way of transcending the physical body and gaining a larger view of reality. And so uh, the shaman is like an expert of these spiritual or these mental tools that gain, they allow people to gain a broader view of the world, of their spiritual connection to all things. Here's my question. There are so many people like him. If you've ever been to the desert in California, or if you've ever been to Arizona, there are so many people like him. Remember the girl that we watched on MasterChef the last season? Like that girl is this guy, okay? But she didn't take a turn where she's now like a fucking, you know, weirdo uh, QAnon person. Dude, this is like the most average uh, Arizona person, okay? Like Yucca like Valley full of people like this, Happy straight up. He's like, whoa, wait, what, what the fuck? You guys got, I thought y'all were Mexican. You're, you're telling me you're telling me you're Native American and you got drugs? I'm on board. Like fucking sign me up, bro. Let me get some tattoos. <laughs> when did you first experiment with the medicine? That was, I think, in like 2014, 
2015, January 6th, something everyone. like that. And that was the first time I ever tried peyote. But I had tried other, you know, uh, you know, things like sacred mushrooms and, you know, things like that beforehand. What insights do you feel like you gained from peyote? And the ultimate uh, conclusion I came to is that the body is a tool for the soul of God, almost like the body is like a microscope and a telescope, and the soul of God is the observer, able to examine the infinitely large or the infinitely small. And so in a way, the body is like an instrument that can be tuned in a number of different ways uh, to, to tune the mind and the body. Oh, this is why you got to do drugs responsibly, okay? There's a turning point. Like, when you do, when you experiment with, like, psychedelics and hallucinogenic drugs, it usually makes you more progressive in like 90% of circumstances. But then when you go beyond a certain point, you fry something in your mind and then you become like the anti-vaxxer crystal QAnon mommy. This man went beyond that point. That's just it. There's nothing, there's nothing up there. It's just fucking things swirling around. No more brain. Body to the frequencies of God's omnipresent consciousness. Nine months. You know, every culture has a different name for it. Nirvana to the Buddhist, Brahma to the Hindus, uh, collective unconscious to the, uh, the materialists. Ultimately, though, I came to discover that the, uh, the light is one and the paths are many. And everything and everyone is interconnected to the- I've, I, I can't, dude. I, I need to be fucking high. Th this part of it is just like, I cannot. It's just like, it's kind of, I'm going to skip past this part. We all know that everything is made up of energy. We all are seeking God and the truth, quote unquote, involved in politics until 2020. Yeah, that's where we're getting to. Here it is. Shut the fuck up, chatters. That's, uh, let's get to the good shit. What catalyzed you to get involved in politics? That is a funny story. Um, let me start by Finally saying got to that uh, fish does not know that it's swimming in water, okay? And a sane person in an insane society will appear insane. So that being said, everything I'm about to say, I ask people to keep an open mind and an open heart and try yeah, to understand that oh, know, give where it to I'm me. coming from is a place that is, you know, from literally... Bro, homie went from... Wait, he went from getting involved... Wait, did he say 2020? Wait, hold on. He went from not being involved in politics in the 2020 and to like storming the fucking capital. Oh my God. I always knew that DC was corrupt. And when I heard about Justice leaked emails to the public, I started to read them with a mild curiosity. Um, then I started to notice a very strange pattern in the emails. And oh, the, the emails fucking that... CP shit, cheese pizza shit. No way. I mean, yes way. This dude fried. His brain is fucking deep fried more than a Zoomer meme, okay? Of course, of course he saw Still a baby, cheese pizza, which was literally, he's just saying he went on fucking acid. poll, okay? That's it. That, like, he, he, his research existed entirely on poll. You want to know how I know that? Because the Pizzagate stuff and, and CP being, uh, or cheese pizza being likened to CP, which, uh, was a, a code name for child pornography. You want to know why, uh, that came straight out of fucking 4chan? Because there's a lot of child pornography, or was a lot of child pornography on 4chan. And that's what the code name was for child pornography on 4chan. And that's why they were like, oh, cheese pizza must be child pornography. That's where that fucking came from. That's straight up where that fucking came from. That whole Pizzagate shit, alongside QAnon as well. Or leaked and how it involved most of the, like, like some of the most powerful DC moguls, like, you know, Clintons and you know, the Obamas and Biden. Um, the big picture became crystal clear. And it was not even a week or two later that... Spoiler alert. No, it did not become crystal clear. Wait, so it was actually just about cheese pizza? I'm educated. I'm educated on PC. I'm not educated on Pizzagate at all? No, dude. John Podesta was hiring... Uh, it, it was was purchasing child pornography and using code names for it, and they were getting it from a from a DC pizzeria. Like, what the fuck? What are you psychotic? No, of course not. First of all, this idea that like, I, and I talked about this before, are there sick freaks within DC that most likely engage in pedophilia? Of course, of course there are. This is what fucking powerful people do. Okay, I mean we know this to be literally true. Look at Jeffrey Epstein. Okay. Look at who Jeffrey Epstein was homies with. Clearly, that is, you know, that's that's definitely happening. Are they the doing it through code names in a way that is, like, trackable from a fucking DC pizzeria? No. No, of course not, you fucking moron. 
No, that's not real. That's not what's happening. Okay? They're doing it through Jeffrey Epstein. Remember when everybody thought for a brief moment that Wayfair uh, was, was selling children because things that are out of uh, stock that they don't want to take off the fucking... Uh, that they don't want to take off the fucking website, they would just make the price point insanely high. And then TikTok literally was like, that must be a child that they're selling. And that's why a pillow is going for like 20 grand. Uh, it took like three seconds of research to, to figure that out. So many people straight up were, were whipped up into a fucking frenzy and, and thought that that was real, that the, that was what was going on. The human was, were... We're, we're being trafficked on Wayfair. Like, why the fuck would rich people go to Wayfair, dumbass? What rich person has ever purchased furniture from Wayfair, okay? Just, like, think about the the involvement that, like, they, they would have to have with, like, hundreds of thousands of individuals on every step of that fucking production process on that supply chain, basically. That would have to keep a secret that they're fucking shipping children to, to rich people. And uh, all the research pointed to Q being uh, being the beginning of uh, full disclosure. And I came to conclude that Q was involved at the highest levels of the military and the intelligence community. And uh, that Q was involved with like things like the deep underground military bases and uh, black budget uh, technologies and stuff like that above top secret information. And, um, and this mind war over the minds of the, the well, populations would end well. up affecting the timelines that we created as a species almost like hijacking our co-creative abilities and uh, that would determine the fate of humanity dude this guy got owned so hard bro he literally believed pizzagate Keep then of course he believed ass. QAnon. by the way notice how he never mentions fucking 4chan like where where does he does he not realize that we know where he got all the info from he keeps saying he did research. He's like making it seem like he was actually, you know, hitting the books. Brother, you didn't do research. You went on 4chan. That's it, dude. You went on fucking slash poll, dog. That's your research. It's so obvious. Like every single thing that he's saying started off as a fucking meme by psychos who are straight up deranged. But unfortunately, uh, there are plenty of people that are just as deranged as they are. And they get together and they make this shit up, not realizing that like people will actually believe in it. Some of you that have frequented those fucking forums know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, it's wild. A bunch of people exactly like you, or maybe even yourself that participated in this maybe a couple years back, were able to literally break the brains collectively of like millions of people. Don't you think this guy, giving this guy platform is dangerous, especially without substantial pushback from Andrew? Are you fucking insane? You, what do you want him to do? Like fucking debate the dude in prison right now about Pizzagate? Who the fuck is going to watch and be like, wow, the QAnon shaman that's in Pizzagate, he's got some good ideas, bro. We've moved beyond this stuff. So they basically want no freedom, full totalitarian control. Um, they want control and access to all of our biometric data, all of our medical records, all of our financial records, all of our personal data, no body autonomy, no free choice, you know, chips in your hand type of thing. Um, think, look at all you, think like communist China except in the United States and all over the world. That is what the deep state is looking to do. And somebody may say, well, well that can't, that won't happen in the United States. And I would say to those people, well, how far are we from two weeks to stop the spread? And I think that COVID is proof that uh, the corruption that we're dealing with is not just in the United States, but that it's global. I mean, like vaccines are being used to as an excuse to do all sorts of things. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's only a matter of time before they're used to round up and detain enemies of the new world order or of the deep state. I mean, this virus is only killing less than one percent of the population. So how do you how do people make that jump? I totally understand, and this tracks with like everything we know about conspiracy theorists and like people who believe in these like insane conspiracies that that like these big events happen there's already like a lot of instability in their lives and they kind of see that things are not all right and they try to make sense of what is otherwise senseless you know what i mean and there's no moral grounding uh rooted within materialist uh materialist analysis so they're just like thinking of like all of these mystical different ways is the way that society operates and it's like a child's brain, right? You're like, there's good people and there's bad people and the good people are, you know, fighting against the bad people and the bad people are doing it because they're bad, right? So where does Trump fit into this whole thing? Well, you know, that's a good question. Um, that this whole idea of Pizzagate and the, the info that was dropped during Pizzagate 
was almost like a trial run. And uh, it was conducted to disclose the truth to the public prior to the 2016 election. So uh, the public knew what was really at stake and people like Hillary Clinton couldn't get in. And the point is, is that Q was like the next step, I think, you in the intel drop. Time. And so after understanding what in the Q community is known as the Q clock, um, the way that the timestamps and the gap code work with the Q drops and how they all relate to Donald Trump's tweets and how there's a lot of the same verbiage in the tweets as well as in the drops and they, they all a lot of the time they occur, occur around the same exact time bro this is by the way what he's describing here and this is why i always say this is like schizophrenia this is like mass induced schizophrenia that is literally a symptom like don't get mad at me don't say this is ableist okay there's gonna be some uh chatters who are you know medicated or dealing with schizophrenia they're gonna get mad and say fucking fuck you but like this is unironically a symptom okay of of psychosis so a lot of these people ironically the anti-vaxxers now constantly talk about mass psychosis which is literally happening to them Sy the the numerology shit the delusions the all, all this stuff like oh everything is connected to one another actually like I donald trump is connected mind. to the q drops like <laughs> that is just people who have become paranoid and 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 psychotic by looking at posts too much it's crazy posting can be dangerous and that is what's going on here not all of those dudes have taken drugs just because he fried his brain with drugs and made him more susceptible i guess to this sort of thinking but the, these are a lot of these are symptoms i do believe that like this level of like uh a paranoid uh delusional psychotic thinking uh, either they had a history of it in their family or maybe they just like fucking straight up did not have it and they got it through posts but it is happening. It seemed to me that Trump was a part of something a lot bigger. That, 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 that Trump being at the helm and in the presidency, he was he was a part of this faction within the military industrial complex, within the quote unquote deep state, the good guys that were trying to free humanity. And they were trying to get rid of this cabal that is essentially full of Marxists and fascists. Uh, like straight up. This is what happens when you cannot comprehend the way that society Just is organized. Like you understand it. Okay, there's a level of understanding that like shit is fucked up. Okay, I'm going to use really basic terms. You're like, like, think about it this way. Think about if everything that you've ever experienced uh, hadn't worked to normalize everything that you're currently experiencing. Okay, nice. and like, you're a good person. You, you grew up in like a commune or something. Let's say you're a good person. You come out of the commune and all of a sudden you got massive fucking luxury high rises. Okay, you got wealthy people getting fat inside of those fucking luxury high rises. And then at the bottom, you have people on the street fucking dying. You're like, well, this shit is fucked up. There's something severely and deeply wrong with this, okay? Even if you yourself aren't personally impacted by that, that breaks your brain a little bit, okay? It's kind of like, uh, you know how your brain normally works to push out certain sounds or your brain is actively, whether you recognize it or not, uh, uh, working to... Uh, you know, not remind you that you're on a fucking you know, ball somewhere in deep space. Like the white noise that you don't hear. These are things that you're doing without realizing that you're doing. And you need to, you need to do that so you don't have to fucking, uh, so you don't constantly spe uh, hear this shit or constantly think about it. Every single person through social conditioning, especially in a One capitalist society, who's... trains themselves inadvertently to not recognize the deep inequalities that are happening in front of their fucking eyes and then some people actually see that okay and some people actually recognize it and then they want to make sense of it and there are ways to make sense of it okay some people make sense of it by saying uh you know everything is predetermined god put us on this planet for a purpose yada yada i'm gonna go to heaven blah 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 some people recognize that it's a relationship that people have with the means of production and how commodities are produced and how society has to function as a consequence of that and then other people look for mysterious or rather mystical reasons but it's a Stay it's safe. a Be deep nice to wanting to has. rationalize why certain things are happening and if you don't believe in it uh, if you don't believe in like religion or whatever the fuck or if you don't believe in like a, a materialist grounding then you're going to have to believe that there are good people and bad people especially if you do believe that uh, if you think that there are actually good people and then there are actually bad people and that bad people are doing bad things because they're bad and good people are doing good things because they're good 
right? Well, then you have to, you, you realize that there are like all these people at the top Bam. that are pulling the puppet strings, okay? And that those people are doing bad things because there's pure evil and they want to control everything, which is, again, not that far off from the reality. It's just that that kind of thinking opens you up to uh, really nefarious uh, conspiracies, like really horrible conspiracies. If you think to yourself like, yeah, there is a, a form of control within society that is capital owners that are operating uh, at the behest of, of their own profit and society is organized around that, then that's understandable. That's your, well, that's your socialist. That's a socialist way of thinking. Okay. It's a Marxist way of thinking, but that's not really sexy. It's not really, you know, I would say that it's, it's boring almost. What's more interesting is if these guys are fucking evil and they're like, you know, they love sucking people's blood or whatever the fuck. There's vampires and, and they're doing it uh, for fun and because they're just evil, right? Nazis, for example, or other conspiracists that, that always somehow, if you go, uh, you know, enough tears into the conspiracy, they always revolve around blood libel and anti-Semitism, obviously. Nazis believe that it's those are the people that are Jewish, okay, and that they are they're they're here to control and yada yada, which I'm sure he will get to eventually as well, because he, he's so far into the conspiracy Marx, spectrum man, that there's no shot he's not fucking anti-Semitic, okay. Marx never considered people becoming mentally ill from memes. Yeah, I mean that's true. Okay, I'll put it this way. Q is the only major movement in history, as far as I can tell, that is working to disclose the full truth about, say, government special access programs, top secret information and technologies, the truth about things like aliens or interdimensional beings and their role here on the planet. It's the only movement that is disclosing the truth about things like looking glass technology, um, the anti-gravity uh, technology or inertia propulsion technology, how it relates to things like time travel and creating timelines. The way that we have like healing technologies or infinite energy devices and how all this stuff relates to black budgets and to the endless amount of tax dollars that were being the thing i hate the most about these conspiracies is that like there's always a fucking grain of truth okay in every conspiracy theory there's just a layer there's just a little bit of a layer like real. black budgets are real okay there's $35 trillion unaccounted for in the Pentagon budget, uh, according, like, I think uh, as of last year. $35 trillion, okay? That's real news. That's not fake news. It's not fucking conspiracy theories. You also have JSOC that funds its operations that normally you would not be able to fund by, I don't know, protecting some poppy fields in Afghanistan and, you know, selling heroin to everywhere but America because the American heroin is actually coming from Mexico. I'm talking about street heroin, not like fucking Happy illegal shit, which day. is done in uh, New Zealand and I think like, what is it like uh, and in Australia? Anyway. And, and, you know, examples of this throughout history that we know of that's well documented is, for example, uh, the Iran-Contra deal, right? That sort of stuff is, is definitely real. They take a, a crumb of truth like special operations that you normally wouldn't be able to fund with government uh, funding, so you have to fund it otherwise through illegal methods. Just that's real. That's a real thing that happens. TV. And, you know, we find out about it because they fucking then turn around and declassify some of this stuff or prosecute some of this stuff uh, later uh, down the line with a, you know, but Long. obviously no one actually gets like any sort of serious repercussions for it. Conspiracy theorists will then take shit like that and it almost feels like a fucking psyop where conspiracy theorists will take shit like that that's real, you know, MK Ultra stuff like that, and, and, and turn it into completely psychotic bullshit that stretches all the way to one, anti-Semitic anti conspiracies, and two, to like even interdimensional pedophile vampires, which is why I always say Alex Jones is a fucking psyop to like discredit the actual fucked up shit that the government does so that you think, oh, wait a minute. What What do you mean? You believe in MK Ultra, which is for fucking real, literally real. It's that means true. you must be a person who also believes in interdimensional psychic vampires. That's why there's so many people who are like, wait, wait a minute. You think Jeffrey Epstein actually didn't kill himself? Well, you must be a conspiracy theorist that believes I in all this shit too. It's like, no, motherfucker. That one is a very realistic likelihood uh, with a, with a cover up that wasn't even that good. The other is just completely bananas, okay? Outside of the realm of comprehension. We procured over 1,500 Nazi scientists, doctors, and intelligence agents. And
I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. This is exactly what I was talking about. That's real. Brought them over here. We wiped their war records and their war crimes clean. We brought them in into our government and put them in some of the highest levels of power in our government bureaucracy during Operation Paperclip. Yo, I swear to God, dude, QAnon, Alex Jones, all these fucking psychotic conspiracy theorists, one thousand percent. One million percent are a way to discredit like the actual fucked up shit that the government does. I swear to fucking God. Oh my God, dude. Cause that's not, that that's real. Operation Paperclip is real, well-documented. That's not like a conspiracy theory. But when you fucking put that Have in a conversation that is like uh, on the tail end or sandwiched between like literally fucking saying shit like, you know, deep space, uh, deep state cabal of, of bankers and whatever the fuck. All of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, maybe Operation Paperclip isn't real. Well, I mean, it is. A lot of those things like, like are objectively true, right? Operation Paperclip was real. Operation Mockingbird was real. MK Ultra was also real. But do you think that the more intense stuff in the Q universe, like elite Democrats drinking children's blood, is also real? For thousands of years, that has been something that has been practiced by elite groups in high levels of occultic power, okay, in ancient Rome, in ancient Egypt, okay, in ancient yes. Babylon, in um, ancient Sumer, okay, there were, there were high levels of elites. And there it is, boys. There it is. Who do you think the, the high-level occultic power is in all of those societies, he's going to say? Who do you think he means when he says that? Dude, every conspiracy theory ultimately gets to uh, Jewish people. Okay, no, he's not going to say Italians, chatter. <laughs> These individuals, what they would do is they would consume a large amount of psychoactive nice. plants. And then they would do so at places like sacred sites, like the pyramids or in temples or near obelisks. They would have these out-of-body experiences where they communicated with interdimensional beings that were of like a higher dimensional realm. And, okay, and they would download large amounts of data in these higher dimensional data fields that in many cases would go beyond syntax or go beyond the use of words. Uh, these individuals basically expanded their consciousness field to like cosmic levels of proportion. With all of that said, there's another faction within the ancient Egyptian and uh, doing a great hierarchy, service to and that this would country. be like the people that worship Set, um, and Set is like the ancient Egyptian form of Satan. Okay, so Satan worship. Bro, I love shit like this because honestly, it like I filled my brain with random chatters and information oh about random chatters, some of which I may never even meet, some of whom I ban. And in that process, I probably eliminate some of the data because there's only a finite amount of data I can put up there. So I'm probably eliminating some fucking, you know, important memories. But then I see this guy and he fucking nice. did a full wipe, okay? He did a full system wipe and filled it up with this shit. At least motherfuckers care about like Warhammer 40K, you know? It's just like, that's healthier in comparison to this. Me knowing details about individual chatters is healthier than whatever this is going on, whatever is going on in here. What they did more I than anything the is they three. used things like, say, Hebrew children or children of slaves to uh, do these satanic ceremonies of blood sacrifice. And the whole idea is, is that they terrified their victims to the point to where their victims had an out-of-body experience. And in this out-of-body experience, their body filled with adrenaline. Bro, how do you get there, dude? How? You tell someone the directions to getting to your house and they took a spaceship, okay? And flew to a different planet. How? Dude, it is fucking nuts, dude. First of all, I mean, it's also no different than like, like watching as chatters have been saying, watching Berserk and thinking that's real. You know what I mean? Like he literally was like, he watched Yu-Gi-Oh and thought everything in Yu-Gi-Oh was actually reality. So it's like a fun way to exist, but it's instead of like Yu-Gi-Oh or Berserk, it's, it's anti-Semitic Berserk. That phase when you believe a meme, a 37 year old neat made in 2016 so hard that you end up in prison for 41 months. Well, Worse than ending up in prison for 41 months is that this man's mind is now a prison, okay? Oh, he looked at the abyss for far too long. Nothing is up there now. Nothing. It's over. He was already stupid, and he could have been one of those, like, happy stupid guys. There are so many dudes in Arizona living in the desert that are content. Blow but no, this guy had health? to literally go the extra mile, and now he's brain broken. How do you fucking pull him out of that? It is done. I don't think there's any salvaging. Uh, to be done here. 
drank the blood, they were drinking something known as adrenochrome because once the adrenalized blood was hit with oxygen, it changed from adrena it changed from uh, adrenaline to adrenochrome. All exactly. Okay, and if people don't believe that adrenochrome is real, all you got to do is watch Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Okay, type in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas adrenochrome scene, and you will see that this is a very real thing. Bro, right that is north. straight up no different than being like, dude, if you want to know about muggles, obviously watch Harry Potter. It's real. I saw it in Harry Potter. One day I'm going to be able to fucking push my Let's cart in the, it, it, the fucking perfect. train station and be able to magically go to the, to Hogwarts in the, you know, famous train. Like, dude, you, you think movies are real? It's over. It's done. And these individuals would end up using this uh, understanding that they had just for themselves and creating sort of like an elite group cast that kept everybody else marginalized and ruled. A lot of the time, it was the same bloodlines that were moving from one empire to the other around the globe and erecting these empires based off of the same ritual magic. They would infiltrate the gene pools of certain ecosystems or certain nations, and, and then they would use these individuals. Bro, if he DFL studied DFL anything, you. Love you, as hard as he studied these conspiracy theories, like, first of all, he would literally have a job, okay? And he would not be in prison. The amount of time he spent to remember all this shit, and it's all the fake, that's went. so sad. Oh, it's God. like such a waste of time, dude. That sucks. You literally put more work into this than, than people put into their dissertations. And it's all made up by fucking deranged sociopathic neats on the internet that are masking themselves under anonymity with the hopes that maybe one day their psychotic nonsense they typed into a fucking forum will break some human's brain. Okay? And you gave them that. That makes me even more angry than anything else, really, is like uh, you, you can never let the neats win, okay? You just can't. One of the, I forgot his first name, but uh, there was a certain Rockefeller that looks just, just like John Podesta. And John like Podesta looks just like um, the singer from, uh, like that should be extended uh, to uh, from Lincoln Park. Uh, uh, in the the fucking Homie is just racist, by the way. He was the real anti-white racist for the record. He thinks all white people look the same. That's a little sus. This is my favorite kind of fucking uh, conspiracy theorist on the internet, though. Like, people that think, like, Bro, I swear, like, Tupac is alive and, like, he's on camera. <laughs> Chester Bennington. Chester Bennington, thank you. Yeah, they all yeah. look, all, like, strikingly similar. Okay, uh, Merkel in Germany looks just like Hitler. Um, what? No, she doesn't. What the fuck? Whoa! Yeah! People talk about ritual murder and the satanic sacrifice of children. I think that raises a lot of red flags for people uh, in terms of like anti-Semitism, because I mean, people use what they call blood libel all throughout the 20th century to provide justifications for genocide. And it was kind of spread as propaganda because, you know, saying that someone eats babies is like the worst thing you can say about someone pretty much. It's like, you lose all your friends. Like if, you know, if, if, if people think you eat babies, like it's over for your right. career and, and social. <laughs> social. He's like, that's kind of not the move, dude. Eating babies, like, we kind of intrinsically understand uh, that, like, that's a bad thing. First of all, you're absolutely right. And there have been many people that have been maligned and been demonized uh, as a dark occultist, and it turns out that they're not. They're oh, he's saying, like, you know, sometimes we do get it wrong. He's not letting go of the baby eating thing, but he's like, you know, sometimes we like call someone out for eating a baby and you know, maybe they weren't eating a baby. You know, it's fucked up. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. But the baby eating part is real, obviously. But uh, you know, not everybody's eating baby. There's people that say, oh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's the Hebrews that are doing it, or it's, you know, it's the Satanists that are doing it, or whatever. What you got to keep in mind is that, first of all, real Hebrews would never do anything like that. What does he mean by real Hebrews, yo? Is he a fucking black Israelite, too? Dude, come on. Give me that part, too. Just, he, like, literally collected every fucking conspiracy theory like a Pokemon, dude. It's called syncretism. Syncretism, the collection of unrelated ideas under a single ideology, and is part of what makes QAnon unique. I feel like it, it, QAnon is like one piece, bro. There's like too much lore to get into it. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't that kind of make it a little gatekeepy? Puts a natural barrier of entry automatically. 
into QAnon. So like, like I'm not going to watch One Piece. Why? Because, you know, I'm not a weeb, as everybody knows. And also because like, I don't have 7,000 hours of free time. You know what I mean? And I feel like QAnon kind of is like that too. You need to know so much. There's like so much lore that it you need happens. to be invested in. Like people be like, and then people are like, read the fucking QAnon manga. Like it's so much better than fucking anime QAnon. You know what I mean? Are you fucking watching QAnon with subs or dubs? Like if you're watching it with dubs, then you're not a real one. That's what these Satanists are. Is they're like psychic vampires. Okay. They're like they're like demonic possessed people. They're, they're, that's part of what black magic is. Is you allow your body to be like a vessel for a demonic spirit. Okay. People know about the deep state. They know about how blackmail is used in the deep state to cover up uh, the crimes against humanity. How it's all these uh, networks, the pedophile networks, and the mockingbird media is used to cover up the truth about this breakaway. Bro, what are they, dude? 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 I really do think they should just shut down 4chan. Like, that's crazy. They should have just shut down 4chan, 8chan, all of those. This stuff is bananas, dude. And now it's on Facebook, bro. Like, all this shit that was in the fucking forums. Now it's on Facebook and on Instagram. Like, it, it is actually fucking cancerous. Like, if there is anything that you could symbolically consider to be a fucking psychic pedophile vampire, it's literally this, dude. Okay? It's this. This thing. The funniest part about it is that, like, all this high-level, super conceptual stuff somehow always magically ties in to, like, some of the most basic boomer-ass conservative ideas, bro. It's like, yeah, there are high-level vampires. Like, they're sucking people's energy. They're eating babies. They're banishing people to Saturn. And who's going to save us? A TV-obsessed, narcissistic, uh, you know, son of multi-millionaire real estate guy who has failed upwards his entire life, okay, and is just obsessed with television. That's the guy. And also, we need to defend the police as well, by the way, because they are also a line of defense against psychic, psychotic, interdimensional vampire bloodsuckers. All sorts of CNN producers are being proven to be pedos. The child trafficking is being exposed. The vax mandates are dead in the water. Omicron is probably going to create a massive global herd immunity without too much adverse side effects. Let's go. Brandon is taking over the entire nation. I mean, like, look at how fucking corny it is. Like when you bring all of that magical, mystical thinking back into like what this guy truly believes, right? At its core, when it comes to like American politics, think about how fucking corny that shit is. He went from international intergalactic uh, space vampire pedophilia to let's go Brandon. How the fuck? How? How do you go from, you know, people being banished to Saturn to let's go Brandon, dog? And fucking gas prices, you know what I mean? Like, it is kind of fucking funny. Just like any number of conservative moms that sit around and watch Fox News ultimately believe in the same shit that this guy does, okay? Like, this guy went on a trip to outer space and came back to arrive at the same fucking house that, like, any number, millions of Americans uh, agree with. You could have just fast-tracked it, dude. You could have just, like, watched Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, and gotten there. But no. And also, that's, that's how you, like, fight against intergalactic space vampires by fucking... Uh, because, like, people are realizing that, like, going woke is going broke. That's, that's how... That, that's that's a big win, dude. That doesn't make sense, even in the universe that he has created in his mind. You know what I mean? If this is an awesome power, incredibly powerful, mind-bendingly powerful, reality-bending, uh, uh, you know, evil villains. Can you imagine? If you read this in a fucking comic book, you'd be like, this shit sucks, bro. Marvel Cinematic Universe, okay? And Thanos has the power to fucking bring about the end of civilization or just wipe out with one fucking, you know, snap of his finger, eliminate 50% of all living, breathing things, right? But instead, Thanos is actually trying to snap his fingers to bring about CRT in American schools. If you read that in a comic book, you'd be like, this is the dumbest fucking thing, dude. Or is this, that's what we're afraid of? Like, that sucks, dude. How do you not realize that, like, there's something that just does not make sense? I think 
Trump should have fired Fauci when he had the chance, as opposed to giving him the microphone, as opposed to pushing vaccines and Operation Warp Speed is the greatest achievement of mankind. I think he could have and should have been there for more of the J6 people. Um, I think he should have been more outspoken. I, in all honesty, I honestly think he should have given all the nonviolent offenders a pardon, personally. But at the same time, I try to understand his reasoning for all that, you know, and I, I know that I don't know everything. Oh, what a fucking simp, dude. Yo, imagine being such a fucking Trump simp that after he literally left you in the dark and then straight up called you Antifa, you're still like, you're in prison because of him. And your lawyer straight up said that Trump is a psycho and he's the reason why you're in jail. You're still like, oh, he means well. I swear he cares about me. I promise. Like, dude, no, he doesn't, dude. You are so cucked. Holy fucking shit, dog. He's also pro-vaccine. That's the other funny part. And in the media, especially right-wing media, made it seem like you were some sort of crisis actor yes! hired by yeah. Antifa to make people look dumb. All I can say is for part of me was like, that's hilarious because anybody that really knows me knows that's not true. Another part of me is like, okay, this is a perfect example of how it is that the truth gets, gets smeared. Wait, but that was Republicans that said that. So what, what does he mean, how the truth gets smeared? What's he talking about? The fact of the matter is I'm not Antifa. I'm not Black Lives Matter. And the fact of the matter is when I was marching at the Black Lives Matter and the Antifa protests in Phoenix, I wasn't marching with them. I was marching with the police. I'm a perfect example of how they neurolinguistically program people through the use of images, through the use of trigger words, and through the use of trigger images. And as far as I'm concerned, you need to be the change that you want to see in the world. You need to be the one that's the leader. Here's what happened when you wanted to be the change you want to see in the world 41 months uh prison sentence okay so that's one and two how the fuck does he not understand that like andrew wasn't talking about fucking cnn cnn didn't call him a crisis actor fox news did donald trump did like all it's it's the homies that were there with him that were like yeah that that man right there he's a crisis actor you're right it's like Okay, so they are doing the fucking neurolinguistic programming, I guess. We have a capital in every city, in every state, in every country all over the world. Imagine if every single person that was dedicated to the truth and to getting the truth out to the people met at their capital every single Saturday at noon. So this is our historical window of opportunity where, where we can all gather together you know, nonviolently at our local capitals where we can organize by default, we can change the dialogue, we can, you know, moralize by default, we can change our collective thought patterns by default. Dude, how the fuck does the sheer awesome power that you foresee these like evil beings having in the, in the, you know, manga style universe that you envision the planet, like how does that not fucking destroy you, okay, automatically when you comprehend how fucking crazy powerful they are? And how do you also go back to like, oh yeah, these people that are like by design, way more powerful, like they're godlike figures, but you know, we can eliminate them by getting together at the Capitol. Make this make sense. How do those two thoughts exist in the same brain, bro? Yeah, dude, uh, through the power of prayer, you're going to get together at the fucking state capitals all around and you're going to what, pray, pray them away? Like how, how, how does that, that makes no sense. It would take the stigma away from pulling up to the Capitol if we pulled up to the Capitol, our own capitals, every week. That way, you can't say, hey, they went to the Capitol, they're terrorists. You say, they went to the Capitol, that's what they're supposed to do. That's what we always do. <laughs> right? And think about how that would change the collective thought patterns. And think about this. Imagine if, if, if uh, every Saturday at the Capitol at noon, people gathered together and they burned their vax cards, or they burned their vaccine passports, or they burned their masks. Defeating the deep state cabal by burning your vax cards, bro. Again. Even look at what happened in the USSR, where everybody gave the communists the finger and said, we're not working for you, we're not working with you in the USSR. Well, this guy's understanding of how the USSR collapsed is pretty in line with like 99% of Americans, actually, I think. <laughs> That's how the USSR fell. Everybody was like, hmm, guys, this, this is what they, they collectively got together uh, in the USSR. They got at the state capitals and they did this. Mm. Hey, you stop it. Do you have any regrets? Dude, when you're sitting in a cell for 22 hours a day, you have all sorts of regrets, far beyond the ones that landed you in that cell. 
Okay, you think about everything you've ever done in your life that you're like, man, I screwed up there, I screwed up there, I screwed up there, I messed up here, I wish I would have said that, I wish I would have done that, I wish I would have kissed her, I wish I would have shown up, I wish I would have done this, I wish, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you pick yourself apart like no other. And yet, through that sequence of regret, not a single one of those regrets revolve around QAnon conspiracies, as evidenced by the past 40 fucking minutes of psychotic rambling. Holy shit, dude. Oh my lord, that is that is bananas. Like he went so far back. He's like, oh man, in you know, in in seventh grade, I should have held her hand. And he's like, but not a single part of that was like, maybe I shouldn't believe the fucking QAnon stuff. Like, I I don't know. But the thing is, is that after all this time in solitary, you know, they did it to break me. But what it did is, is it made me all this pressure, the FBI on down my breathing down my neck, the DOJ prosecuting me, the media spewing their lies, my previous counsel totally abhorrently misrepresenting me, saying I'm retarded and, you know, delusional and schizophrenic and all this stuff. So I'd be like, cancel this man. <laughs> Yo, he said the R word, cancel this man. <laughs> First of all, I think he can say it. If there's a man who, who, you know, there's someone who has the past, it's this guy, okay? Like, do you have any plans for whenever you get out? Oh, yeah. I'm going to write an autobiography. Uh, I'd like to make movies. I'd like to make music. I want to make more, some more of my painting. We should make music, dude. Oh, dude, I'm down. Dude, I'm We should down. make a first, first, day out, first day out video. It's like in rap, whenever rappers get out of jail. Not that you have to rap, but they do a first day out. For but, like, it'd be cool if you did. <laughs> Dude, this is the best part about the fucking, like, conspiracy theorists uh, and, and Trump supporters. Like, they recognize the ecosystem that exists where they know, like, there is a lot of money to be made in this. No matter how deep in the fucking, uh, how, how deep in the paint they are, no matter how much, like, heavily invested in the psychosis they are, they still recognize that there's a lot of money to be made by other dumbasses that are just as dumb as they are. Go, go, going back to the music thing, do you know how to freestyle rap at all? I'm a, I'm a poet. I am not a rapper. You know this motherfucker's like, rap is beneath me. I love white people so much. Okay, straight up. How dare people tell me I, I am a hater of, of white people, okay? This is as white people shit as uh, the fucking I have native heritage, like saying you have native heritage, to say like, I'm above rap music, okay? I don't do that sort of thing. Do you think you could sing something for us? <laughs> yeah, that is insane. What? I can't believe your lawyer said you were retarded. That's so whack. Yeah, it's it's it, to say the least. He abhorrently misrepresented me and was extremely inaccurate. But you know, I think as people listen to me speak, they begin to see the truth is quite the opposite. So that's why I encourage people, you know, to uh, do their own research because that's really the only. Yeah, bro, do your own research. Listen to me ramble on for forty-four minutes, and you will come to that the, a similar conclusion. Obviously, not in such terms, but. But look, I, I want to keep talking to you, but um, unfortunately, I do have to go. I got to give my family a call because of the holiday and such. Anyway That's fucking sad, dude. That's the saddest fucking part of this combo is that this man has like three hours of fucking free time a day when he's not in solitary confinement. And he spent 44 minutes of that with Andrew. And like, I don't know how much time he has to spend with his family. It was not like the full three, probably. Uh, I was wondering, like, I have this friend named Kelly. I was telling you about who we're making a documentary on and uh, uh -huh. yeah I kind of want you to meet him okay cool yeah then yeah then we'll definitely work it out we'll definitely do something man oh my god there's a fucking like network of of uh, QAnon people that like they all know each other Kelly is like the the Trump guy right dude that was so fucking sad that was the the last part of like actually hurt my soul yeah I met him yeah Kelly's the Kobe Bryant was killed by the Clintons guy Kobe Bryant was assassinated by the Quins. <laughs>